Okay. Fine. All of you are ready for the next session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. As usual, this session will also yes. be very, very interactive, very, very participative. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, very, very interactive, very, very participative. I request all of you to participate as usual. So let's, uh, this session will be on role play. Okay. Just for your information, this session will be on role play. Okay. Here is uh, an opening question to you. What is role play? What do you understand by role play? Enacting a particular person or a character. Okay, enacting a particular person or a character, okay, based on a theme. Yes. Putting yourself in a situation where, uh, you know, uh, you envisage to be and then acting accordingly. Acting accordingly. So you take up different roles and you enact and you uh, try to convey some message. Right, right sir. Right. Anything else? Anything else? A simulation kind of thing where you have to perform your uh, roles and responsibilities. A simulation, okay, right. In fact, simulation uh, is a separate uh, entity, separate uh, ball game. We uh, will definitely have uh, a session on simulation separately. Uh, <clears throat> uh, a little bit of refinement. What you said is right. A little bit of alignment. Uh, to the central theme of role play. We get into a situation and that situation has some roles. For example, Mahabharat. It's a scene, it's a theme. There are some roles there. There are Kauravas, there are Pandavas and you know there is a Lord and so many people. So you get into a situation there are quite a few roles. Okay, now the next question is when can this be used? When can this be used? In communication scenarios. Okay, to communicate something. All right. To How explain something. To explain something. To explain something. For, for entertainment. Or for, entertain, for entertainment. Purpose. Yeah, for entertainment. Okay. Trainings related to the service training. industries. Training related to service industry. Okay. Or even a part of training. So it could be a model in, an, uh, say, if it's going in a certain format, a role play can be added into it with a particular situation to explain something. Okay. One question. People consider or people take role play uh, seriously, casually. What is your take? So it depends <laughs> on how it is being executed. Executed. Uh, and in which form it's coming and you know it also depends on the level of understanding of the people of around of course it con it conveys some message but research so shows that research depicts re research represents that role play is uh, an informal way of training one of the methods of uh, training where people get the message but they tend to take it a bit casually it does not fit into a perfect formal training method where, where people take uh, this method to be very, very seriously. Meaning, normally it's sort of entertainment. Okay? Role play has its advantages. Role play has it's doing the role play, like who is making the participants do the role play, how experienced or how well versed the trainer is Will that impact the quality of the role play? Yeah, yeah, yes, that uh, does. That does. Okay. Given this situation, giving uh, given this limitation, how can we use role play to make our trainings effective? In what context can we use role play? I have a message here. Role plays can be used to convey a social message and to create social revolution. Do you all agree with the statement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. I do. Yes, sir. Run for awareness where we have the street plays on the streets wherein the message or the awareness program is attached. 
yeah, yeah, yes. Similarly, yeah. in a classroom situation, a role play that can also be used to convey a particular message. Convey also message. Also, at times, it could be converted into a skit yes. wherein the participants write them themselves yes. and then they enact it. Yes. To make it more exactly. exactly, exactly, more effective, more effective. Actually, we can take an example from movies also. In movies, the actors or actresses they role play yeah, and yes. they convey the message to the message. society. Yes, right, definitely, definitely. I agree. I agree to the statement. So, so role plays are powerful training uh, ways. A role play is a powerful training technique. However, a role play can be used in a social context to create social revolution and transmit or convey so a social message. Okay, a role play aims to capture the attention or to capture emotions of people. For example, save birds, save water. 22nd March is considered as World Water Day. So there can be a role play on this theme. And the message, the motto is, the agenda is to transmit or to convey a social message and to capture the emotions of people. Okay. Now in this class, I will be giving you a theme. I'll be assigning uh, a task to all of you. You will be put in breakout rooms and you will have to come out with a role play. You will have to actually enact. Okay. But before that, I have something for you. I'll share uh, my screen and a video. Please watch. This is a, a real-time ritual that is practiced in the state of Karnataka. It's uh, very, very captivating. It is uh, heartwarming. Please have a look at this. Are there people from Karnataka? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Because there are some terms that you will come across in this documentary, in this video. They are in Canada, And maybe you can convey the meaning of uh, these words to your uh, co-learners and friends here. Okay? Just give me a minute. I'll share this. Are you all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can you be on mute, please? Mute yourself. Can you be on mute, please? Okay. So I'll share my screen here. Just a minute. It's a documentary. It's taking a little time. Okay. Share sound. Optimize for video clip. Okay. I request all the participants to have a look at this documentary. It is from the uh, it is from the wild. It is from the wild world. But there is a message. Please try to understand this message. Please try to decipher this message. It is a, a role play. And we will discuss on this once uh, you get to see this. Okay? Pray 10 times their own size. The whole pack feed on the kill together and it pays to eat quickly. An adult can swallow four kilos of meat, almost a quarter of its own body weight, in under an hour. Even the tigress gets a meal at last. She may have failed to make her own kill, but she's wily enough to take advantage of a rival's success. 
Tigers are a universal symbol of the power of nature and are revered throughout India. But few go to such lengths to express their admiration for tigers as the Karuba people of the Western Ghats. Every September, during the Dussehra festival, folk dancers from the Karuba tribe let their inner animal run wild and dance the Huli Vesha, the tiger dance. The dancer's moves mimic the big cat's stealth and power. Lemons held in their mouths symbolize the animal's deadly grip on its prey. These men have been dancing the Huli Vesha since they were children, taught by their fathers and grandfathers. They grew up in a village in the Western Ghats, close to the forest and surrounded by nature. The tiger dance is a way for them to express their deep connection to wildlife. Travelling around villages to perform their dance brings spectators from far and wide. It takes many hours to paint and decorate their bodies, but the patterns will last several days. The men earn tips for their acrobatics. But the dance has a deeper meaning. The Huli Vesha is a celebration of the wild world and a reminder of man's dependence on nature. The Western Ghats keep rain away from the Deccan Plateau. Please give me your views. How was this uh, documentary? Of course, it runs for uh, more than an hour. But that small bite was uh, on role play. <clears throat> so what are your views on this uh, documentary? Is it, role, is it a role play method? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. What was the central theme? What was the character of, of uh, this role play? Okay. I got it. Tiger, food, food tiger cycle, and cheetah, cheetah, I think. food cycle, and yeah, tiger and cheetah. No, uh, sorry. Tiger, which uh, says the cheetahs, the symbol of power. Yeah, just a minute. Cheetahs uh, have gone extinct in India. Uh, it is specially a documentary uh, dedicated completely to our uh, majestic national animal, which is tiger. Tiger, big cats. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, now please give me your views. So, how tigers are important for nature, as yeah. in maintaining the food cycle in the nature. Yes. yes. So, this was one of the major region, reasons also to get them and multiply in India. Because yes. it was, I think it was in 1971 or so when... 1973, uh, Project Tiger. 1970, Project Tiger, sir. Yes, so right. To multiply them. So that is one of the yes. ways also which has been portrayed how important they are and celebrating Tiger as a supreme power. Yes, exactly. And Perfect. reminding uh, humans also that they are a part of nature, not apart from nature, because one of the reasons for they getting extinct were poaching also. So I think... Uh, so the message is, the message is uh, there is uh, uh, a deep uh, interrelationship between uh, human beings and nature. Uh, like we have uh, basic human rights to live, tigers also enjoy their rights to live on the planet and we are dependent on tigers, we are dependent on nature. Okay. Anybody else? Sir, I think uh, the 
aggressive nature of the tiger was being depicted through the uh, human emotions how they were uh, portrayed in terms so, of their actions so people and, paint uh, their bodies yeah people paint their bodies and they enact themselves as tigers correct correct okay it was so the be, interdependence of humans uh, with nature interdependence the inter the deep inter intricate connection yes right they were able that, to that was probably the theme of locals they were locals yes so, so they, they were able to grab the attention of locals of, of locals because yes. of the entire painting exercise and the effort that they put into painting their bodies yes so to gain attention it was a good uh, example nice. right does it convey a social message what is the message that these people who are uh, enacting themselves as tigers what is the message that they are conveying awareness they are try to convey that to, to save the tigers to save tigers yeah yes also that how deeply we are connected to, to the conserve body. nature exactly. to conserve nature to conserve nature uh, also it's it's a respect for this uh, majestic animal oh, how right. this animal is re revered yes sir. and they are the locals who are sending the message to the locals okay. of the animal which is of the locals of the local so local to local strategy yes, not sir. to kill animals respect this animal uh show the majesty of this animal to people around to small kids transmit this this message uh, by traveling across villages okay so this, yeah. this is this is one this, example yeah yeah please tell me these this, uh, tigers have the same rights to live uh, in uh, in the environment as the humans yeah yeah correct absolutely so uh this is one example uh just to help you all understand that role play can be a very powerful method to create a social revolution and to convey a social message okay for the message here is save tigers conservation of tigers interdependence of human beings and uh, nature and so on okay one question to you now why are tigers given such a sovereign and supreme state what is the tragedy that awaits if tigers go extinct food cycle food cycle okay panther okay i have uh, one analogy here i want all of you to tell me the names of some famous dynasties that have ruled india mughals mughal oh, mughals Mugta. चोलास 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 मराठास मराठास ऑफ महाराष्ट्र Lodi, okay. What happened to Marathas after Shivaji's death? Chhatrapati Shivaji's death. Downfall and extinct, sir. It was there was a downfall. Then the lineage of Mahara Shivaji was not there. Okay. Peshwas came in, but then nobody could to carry his DNA. So yeah. that lineage yeah. had to fall down. Yeah. What happened to so, Mauryas when Chandragupta so, Maurya uh, died? Almost the so, same thing, sir. Same so actions of a strong leader. Yeah. Actions of a strong leader. Yes. I think if we have to connect uh, the part of tigers and uh, the kings whom we are talking yes, about, yes, exactly, exactly. So tiger is all about you know they are the symbol of power, power, uh, yes. beauty, mm, fierceness, yes. exactly. and magnificence. So exactly. similarly, uh, they show that we have that strength, we have that power. Yes. So the, that that, exactly. that is why they are the national animal of India. and uh, uh, that shows that this is our strength this is what india good. is all about good so draw uh, some interpretation from the analogy here whenever you have seen uh, the death of uh, certain great kings has resulted in uh, the downfall of dynasties be any empire that you take you take moguls you take uh, mauryas you take marathas you take any dynasty whenever the king has uh, died or king uh, is no more the dynasties have collapsed yes same is the case with uh, our environment our uh, local surroundings <clears throat> whenever the king 
uh, will collapse, the entire system will collapse. Okay, and let me tell you, tigers uh, are much more powerful, much more intelligent than human beings. Okay, if you uh, park a BMW and make a tiger stand next to BMW, people will not look at BMW. People admire, people rever, people uh, go in awe when they look at a majestic tiger. Okay, that is the message. That's the message that these people are trying to convey that we must save tigers. Okay, one more example. What if I take, I arrange a bus for all of you. I'll ask all of you to come to ISTD head, headquarters, New Delhi. I'll sponsor your entire uh, amount. I'll ask all of you to come to NHQ Delhi and I'll ar arrange a special uh, VRL uh, Volvo bus and I'll take you to the forest and I want to drop you there for a day or two. Would you be willing to stay with no facilities? If there are tigers around, then no. Yeah, of course. I'll take you to a deep tiger area. Yeah. No, I'm on, sir. I'm yes, on. No. I'm on. Yes, sir. It results in human interference. See, that is why it's when uh, we, we get scared, we don't enter unknown territory, unknown forest patch. I'm still interested. Sir, uh, here because... I have uh, I have a point. Like, uh, yes, yes, yes. If I can. So a tiger has a unique quality that if it has a food for itself for some time, yes. if at all you are roaming here and there, you're not harming it. It will not harm you. Yeah, so yeah, in I that know. case, then I'm ready De to go. Definitely. See, I myself I'm am already. a... No, I'm also ready. I, I, I am... I, well, let, let's have, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yes. I myself I am a tiger researcher. I work for Government of India for Tiger Census Program. I have counted tigers live in the forest in the year Can 2002. Can you hear me, sir? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Uh, I am from Ambala, from STC Ambala, in LSE as FM, okay. as uh, in medium cadre. I want to take part, participate in this access too. Okay, okay. The next time uh, there is something of this kind, I'll certainly inform you. See the okay, the okay. message. The message that I am trying to convey is: mm -hmm. tigers are natural protectors of the forest. They are more than CRP, uh, CRPF. They are more than black commandos. They are more than Z security for the forest because, because of the fear of wild animals, we don't enter an unknown territory or unknown forest patch because we fear that we get yes, we are likely to get killed. Because okay. we don't enter that particular premises, naturally right. there is human there is no human interference. And if there is no human human interference, there is no littering. There is no threat of fire. There is no human interference. Normally, the wildlife will thrive. Okay. Absolutely, okay. sir. That is why that is why tigers are called as natural protectors of the forest. They are more yes. than Z plus security. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. That is why to protect our environment, to protect our nature, our forest, our rivers, everything, we hmm. need these majestic creatures. Yes. So that is a message that these people are trying to convey. And this is the impact. This is the power. This is the influence of role play. When roles yes. are taken up, when roles are taken up uh, correctly, when roles are efficiently discharged. Mm. Okay. O okay. Okay. Now okay. let's have, let's have an exercise. Okay. Let's have an exercise. There is one uh, menace or in fact, there are quite a few menaces that we are uh, uh, encountering of late. Okay? Okay. Okay. I request all of you to please take down a few themes that I'll be announcing. Mm. Theme number one. Plastic minis. It is said that in the year 2050, there will be mm. more plastic in the sea than yes. fish. Yes. Uh, sir, what term did you use? The plastic minis. Plastic minis. Yeah. I said by 2050, it is predicted 
that there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. Mm -hmm. So fish lovers have to be careful. You, you may not get fish to eat. Okay. This is one theme. These small cuttings, these small uh, patches, sa uh, sachet, they all fly in the air and end up in the sea. Yes. This is one. Second, climate change and global warming. Mm. This is second theme. This is second theme. Okay. Which includes or which uh, covers uh, everything. Uh, right from protecting a tree to a plant to birds, animals, everything. Climate change and all that. Okay. okay. Now, I will divide all of you. I'll put you all in uh, breakout rooms automatically assigned. You will have some people to discuss with. You will have to come out with a role play for one of these, the uh, uh, these themes. You can choose out of these two. Any one theme can be chosen. And you have to come out with a role. Play. Second thing, please. Second thing, what's the second thing? Uh, climate change and global warming. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Now you will have to come out with a role play. You can take up different roles. Uh, you can take up role of an environmentalist, naturalist. You can be an animal. You can be a fish. You can be a forest officer. You can be a citizen. You can be a civilian. You can be anyone. Okay. You decide the roles. Mm. You decide the theme. Okay. And you will have to come out with a role play and you will have to enact that. Okay. On the screen to everyone. Okay. I will give you 10 minutes to decide the role and quickly take up your roles, decide and all that. And then I'll give you some time to enact as well. Are you all okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you are clear what is to be done? If there are queries, ask me now. Sir, uh, what is uh, what will be the duration of the role play? Like the entire uh, yeah, role play okay. will be for how much time? Uh, since we have 56 people and I, when I exclude ISTD officials and my own self, about 55 people and if I divide you, uh, we can have maximum of two and a half minutes. Okay, only. Yes. <laughs> because we'll have to uh, give opportunity to all of you. Okay, are you all clear what is to be done? Yes. Don't get stuck. Don't Perfect. get stuck. If there are queries, ask me now. You see, you have to convey a social message. You will have to convey a social message in the uh, interest of everyone, for the benefit of all. And you can take up these role plays in your respective organizations. If you are free on Saturdays and, on, and Sundays, if you are uh, free on weekends, you can okay. go to your school you can go to your alma mater. You can go to your college. You can go to your school. Right. You can go to uh, any NGO. You can go to any oh. uh, uh, common place. And with a group, you can enact. Okay. Follow. Uh, it looks like uh, only Satinder Palji is... Uh, ah, sorry, yes. Either <laughs> message is conveyed um, to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, Perfectly. Yes, sir. Satinder yes, sir. Ji, any yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. okay. Let, let me divide all of you. Oh, oh please. Please. I am going to climatic change in, in the group climatic change and global changes in that group. No, no. You will have to decide on your own. That liberty is up to you. Okay. 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 Right. I don't, I, I normally don't like imposing. I don't like. Okay. Uh, giving uh, orders or imposing. You will have to just address the group uh, regarding the, this topic. Yeah? Themes, are, themes are given. Yes. Objective is clear. Ex okay. Expected outcome is conveyed. You decide the roles, you decide the theme and come out with a role play and an act. 
So please join the groups. Okay.
हेलो संबंध है हेलो हेलो
okay welcome back uh, all of you to the main platform i hope you had a fruitful discussion there yes, was exchange yes, of sir. thank you we are we are ready okay let's so begin with we... let's begin uh, with let's begin with team 1 let's begin with team 1 yes sir okay okay i'll just tell you what is to be done please don't introduce yourself it will take a lot of time meaning so i am so we, in can we uh, let just a minute just a minute let me complete let me please just a minute we will start with team 1 do not waste time in introducing yourself meaning your name what and all that directly start with your role play if you are enacting mimicking singing jumping dancing do whatever you want just tell us the theme that you have chosen and the very next second after you tell us the theme you will have to start an acting and once you complete we will move on to the next team is that clear all of you yes sir yes okay, sir okay please okay clear sir i understand that i couldn't give you more time because there is time constraint uh, the, the mic has to move to all the rooms all the participants so i hope you uh, will bear with me for that okay team 1 start sir our theme is plastic minis so we are we are uh, executing a role play over this please start immediately so uh, myself has taken a new flat in flat no uh, one minute one minute narain ji please do not narrate anything an act role play is an acting do not tell us the story the script no you will have to just enact and say got it sir okay okay go ahead start okay so uh papa aaj hum uh hamare ghar ke samne jo बहुत ज्यादा गंदगी दिखाई दे रही है विंडो से जब हम देखते हैं तो मैं क्या सोच रहा हूं कि मैं कल सुबह जाके हम इसको थोड़ा सा साफ करने की कोशिश करते हैं और ये तो नहीं हो गया तू तो पागल हो गया क्या क्या बोल रहे तू तो? तू तो भांग वांग पी आ गया आज नहीं आ, ऐसा नहीं है आ, देखो मैंने फ्लैट लिया है इतने डेढ़ करोड़ रुपए इन्वेस्ट किए हैं तो मैं चाहता हूं कि थोड़े से आ, सामने जो बीच व्यू है वो कम से कम मेरे को दिखना तो चाहिए लेकिन तो यहाँ पे पूरा कचरा जमा हुआ पूरा पहाड़ बना हुआ है कचरे का तो तेरे को ही दिख रहे क्या वो सबको तो दिख रहे हो तो क्यों शिवाजी बन रहे नहीं अगर मैं नहीं करूंगा तो फिर कौन करेगा मैं कल कल सुबह मैं उस म्यूनिसपैलिटी के ऑफिस में जाके आता हूँ उनसे एक बार बात करता हूँ कि इतना गंदगी क्यों है So, उनसे थोड़ा साफ सफाई के बारे में बात करके आता हूँ फिर देखते हैं नहीं नहीं तू तो टिकट भी ले ले एमपी बन जा कुछ बन जा फिर तो वो सब ही कर ले तू नहीं मैं आपसे कल बात करता हूँ पापा ठीक है कर ले तेरी मर्जी का ओके ओके सो शर्मा जी देखिए मैंने क्या किया है ये यहाँ पे मैं कौन बोला है यहाँ पे कौन है शर्मा जी मैं बताइए मैं वर्षोवा से बोल रहा हूँ अफरोज कौन अफरोज बोल रहा हूँ मैं वर्सोवा से यहाँ पे मैंने फ्लैट लिया है एक और मैं सामने बधाई हो भाई मिठाई नहीं खिलाए अफरोज जी मिठाई तो खिलाते नया फ्लैट लिए हो तो सर मैं मिठाई तो तब खिलाऊंगा ना जब मिठाई खाने की सिचुएशन होगी अब यहाँ पे तो गंदगी हम मतलब कितना जहर हम खा रहे हैं सांस में भाई इतना अच्छा काम कर रही है गवर्नमेंट सब साफ देखो भारत तरक्की कर रहा है तुम पता नहीं क्या ढूंढ ये दिक्कत है यार लोगों का ना तुम वो सफाई दिख तो नहीं रही है ना देखिए कितना कचरा मेरे घर के सामने पड़ा है पता नहीं आप लोग आप कभी सी एस टी आके देखिए कभी सी एस टी आके देखते हैं देखिए कितना साफ में तो मुझे रहना नहीं है ना मैं तो यहाँ पे रह रहा हूँ यहाँ पे कितने सारे लोग रह रहे हैं आप वही तो भाई साहब अफरोज जी वही तो बोला है ना कि कितने सारे लोग रह रहे हैं आप हो कि पता नहीं क्या वो दो चार कूड़ा दिख रहा है आप ही फेंक दो आप लोग ही फेंक दो आप ही फेंकते हैं हम नहीं इतने इतने करोड़ रुपए आपको हर साल गवर्नमेंट देती है सफाई करवाने के लिए सफाई तो हो नहीं रही है ये किसने बोला करोड़ रुपया मिल रहा है हमको कितने करोड़ भाई हमको तो हमारा सैलरी भी नहीं मिलता काम पे न्यूज में तो कंटिन्यूस आपका बजट हर अरे भाई न्यूज मत देखो धरातल पे आके देखो काम करो 
तब पता चलेगा ना कि कितना अरे ये छोड़ो देख लो पीछे फाइल है अरे छोड़िए आपसे बात करनी बेकार है आ, तुम ही कर लो भाई तुम बन जाओ तुम हाँ तुम मुझे कर... करना पड़ेगा अरे ठीक आपके है ब्राउजर ओके में नहीं बैठ अच्छा सकता हूँ बाय टाट टी 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 ओके नव आई एम बैक पापा कल सुबह मैं ये बीच साफ करने खुद ही जाऊंगा आपको क्यों चलना तेरा है उसका चलना नहीं तो मैं अकेला ही जाऊंगा क्यों तेरा क्या हुआ तू बोला था बीएमसी बीएमसी के चक्कर मार के यार तुम्हें बोल देता कल सामने आ गई तेरी वो नहीं सुन रहे पापा लेकिन गंदगी मेरे को फील हो रही है यहाँ पे मेरे बच्चे जहर का जहरीली हवा में सांस ले रहे हैं तो मेरे को इनिशिएटिव लेना पड़ेगा ना और कौन अरे लेगा तो इनको लेकर के तू गोवा जा कहा चक्कर में पड़ रहा है हम सब घूम के आते हैं वहाँ कारवार उठा अपना उधर निकल कहा चक्कर में पड़ रहा है दूसरी जगह घर ले लेते हैं पापा पांच दिन गोवा जाके आ जाऊंगा छठे दिन तो मेरे को इसी फ्लैट में रहना है तो चेंज कर देते ना यहीं से लोकल अपना दूसरा फ्लैट लेते हैं फिर दूसरे फ्लैटों फ्लैट को में भी ऐसा ही होगा तो कितने फ्लैट चेंज करेंगे हम टाइम अप टाइम अप ना थर्टी सेकेंड थर्टी सेकेंड वी हैव टू पास ऑन द माइक ओके आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट बट इट्स गोइंग रियली वेल थर्टी सेकेंड नौ मैं बीच साफ करने के लिए जा रहा हूँ मैं कंटिन्यूसली एवरी संडे में जा रहा हूँ और मेरे साथ में नेबर्स आ रहे हैं साथ में नव ए सेलिब्रिटी को मैं रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ कि आप भी ज्वाइन कीजिए हम एवरी संडे हम बीच साफ करने के लिए जाते हैं एंड एवरी संडे ये क्या होता है कम्प्लीटली जी बहुत बहुत बढ़िया देखो मैंने बोला था ना बीएमसी काम कर रही है हमने वर्सुआ बीच एकदम साफ कर दिया देखो तीन साल लगा उसमें बट वी हैव लिटरली क्लीन डेट आपने थोड़ा बहुत आपने सहयोग ही जो दिया है उसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपने ही बट किया है सर आपने ही किया है हमने नहीं किया सर देखो हम तो मैं तो आपको पहले भी बोलता था की बीएमसी काम कर काम रही है बिल्कुल करते रहना देखते हैं हम चाहते अब हैं कि आपको बाकी भी आप बस ऐसे आपने काम करें आपने जो उस दिन बात किया था ना तो आपको दो हजार अठारह का एक वो दे देते हैं अर्थ सेवर का अवार्ड तो परसों आ जाइएगा ठीक है बच्चों बच्चों को भी ले आइएगा अच्छा सा थोड़ा बाकी आपका बीच नाश्ता में आप पानी ऐसे करवा किसी देंगे तरीके से साफ कर दीजिए सर हेलो आप आ जाइएगा प्लीज हेलो 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 आप बाकी आप भी आ कर जाइएगा देना थैंक ठीक यू थैंक है ओके यू अच्छा चलिए वेरी बाय नाइस वेरी थैंक नाइस यू वेरी थैंक नाइस यू थैंक यू वेरी नाइस प्लीज गिव देम अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज वर्चुअली वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस अ गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल एन एक्टिविस्ट अ फैमिली कंसर्न अ टिपिकल गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल विद एपथी वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस वेरी कैजुअल एटीट्यूड वेरी नाइस बहुत अच्छा किया आप सब लोगों ने वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइसली डन टीम टू टीम टू आर यू रेडी टीम टू यस या प्लीज प्लीज स्टार्ट प्लीज स्टार्ट टाइम इज रनिंग आउट थोड़ा जल्दी कीजिए टाइम इज रनिंग आउट यस जस्ट अ सेकेंड ओके Hi, my name is uh, Ada, and I'm from Nigeria. I'm a schoolgirl, and uh, the past three, four years, I have not been able to attend all the classes effectively. Ah, uh, my attendance is running out. Do you know why? Over to Dayakar. Yeah, I'm working. and i am helping the tourist to go for the sledging in the kashmir but unfortunately this year i am not able to earn money because of this you know why and my livelihood has been got affected well have you ever wondered uh, why uh we are facing such scenarios anushika you only mentioned the well it's very clear that all of this is because of climate change and uh, there's a lot that we can do from our end to ensure or to you know have an impact to reduce that to make uh, the world a better place maybe you know when you're using your electronic appliances for example laptops maybe uh, you know switch them off when you're not using them because that produces a lot of heat uh maybe 
avoid using synthetic uh, clothes and go for sustainable uh, materials because uh, it's uh, you know creating a lot of waste which is very difficult to uh, recycle on to the next person usage of bicycle or your own legs avoid using cars or motorbikes so that our usage of a public transportation so that can help us see as an individual we came to this we came on this earth and it is our duty to give something to the earth again so if we can do a minimum changes in our daily life we can give back to the earth because we are the tenants on the earth so it is our duty to take care of the earth so we have so instead of blaming on others what they have done it is our own responsibility that we start a small step so that it can be become a generations and this way i will be able to attend schools because flash floods will be less and i'm sure and people in yes there yeah and i can make money and i can make my livelihood so the tourist will come to my place and i can have a happy livelihood and i can take care of my family right is it done thank you everyone yes thank you thank you everyone please give them a big round of applause thank you well done thank you thank you thank you uh, we will go to the next team next team please Which team number, sir? Team three. Payal. Yeah, <clears throat> we are team three. Yeah, please go ahead. Please start. Yeah. Okay, so our uh, topic is uh, plastic man. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> Hi, fishes. How are you doing? Hi, Ocean. <laughs> I am so sad, not happy, because we fishes are getting sick again and again, and dying under water. So I'm so sad. <laughs> what I do, I I'm I could not understand. Yes, Ash, Ocean, I do understand. See, that is one of my friend who was dead last night. I'm 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 really feeling so sad. Why don't you talk to Mr. Plastic? Because that has been creating a very good ruckus in our ocean. our home why don't you talk to him yes i think the plastic is destroying my house and it is destroying my people who are staying here plastic hey plastic why you are here why you are destroying my house hi ocean i am not destroying you actually i am useful to everyone how can you dare to say like that you are destroying my house you are in my house you are destroying everything you are killing my people no you cannot blame me i am here i am here forever because everyone is using me and i won't be replaceable i am here forever eternity but plastic you are here why don't you understand we are being killed because of you our house is getting destroyed our and we are getting sick bad and we fishes are getting sick again and again and we are dying you know because of your plastic then this is human problem you have to ask human to use me properly i think if plastic is saying so i think there is nothing wrong in it but yes. as the ocean they are destroying my house i am getting angry on this i am seeing my people getting killed and i feel bad about it let's show the humans what i can do so i will go and destroy their houses then only they will understand the pain 
Oh my God, I'm a little boy. Where is my father? Daddy. Hi. Daddy. Hi, beta. Daddy, look at what is happening. I can see so many uh, different, different colors on this ocean. What is happening? I can see red color, blue color. You have already always been saying that ocean looks in green or blue color. What are all those colors? No, beta. This is not fish. This is the plastic that we are using. We are disposing of them in the sea. That is what the various colors are showing in the sea. The green is underneath. Slowly, it is decaying. Oh, daddy, then don't you think that is a problem to us? What happens if, should be more if all the plastic is there in the ocean? What happens, daddy? We should be very careful when we are disposing. If we give them uh, this, then the ocean will get angry and get give us what they what we give them. Now daddy, the ocean daddy, see, hits. Uh, the ocean is the ocean is coming to us. Daddy, see, run, run, run. daddy, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Oh my God. Run, run. Let us save ourselves. And here the tsunami hits and the child dies and we see plastics everywhere on the ground. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm ruling the country. I'm ruling the universe. Now these oh. people will understand how my house is destroyed. Oh, I lost my child for this, in the tsunami. See, this is what we do to the uh, earth. We, it, it gives us back what we give them. We use plastic and destroy it everywhere. And the ocean gives us back what we have given them. Okay, let us use plastic in a more uh, better way. We'll let them dispose of in a better manner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Please clap. Thank you. Please clap for them. Thank you. Thank you. Team four. Team four. Thank you. Well done. Team three as well. Team four. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Bishop, dear fish. Hi, fish. Today is your birthday. Yay! It's my birthday. I'm five years old. Such a pleasant day for me. Chocolates, cakes, gifts, blessings. Oh my God. I'm going to throw a very nice party. Let's call all the neighbors and have blessings and a blast tonight. But wait, I think I should start my day with blessings. And whom shall I connect with first? I think I should go to Grandpa Plastic. He has been alive since 250 years. Probably he can give me blessings to live longer. Grandpa Plastic? Rahul, you are on mute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, little Fishu. How are you? A happy birthday to you. Thank know, you. I, hey, see, I am 250 years old. Meet my wife. She is also 250 years old. My children, hey, wow. she is 200 years old. And oh, my nice. grandchildren is also 100 years old. We are so such a big family. Hey, where is your family? You are coming alone. I Why are you alone to, today? Where is your family? I, I don't know. I, I, oh, I never saw sad. my parents. Oh, we have such a big family. We celebrate the birthday every month of all of our team. But, we have but, but how, how, how do you live so longer? I ah. five and I, I didn't see my parents. Hey, Dr. Waterology said that we are mortal. We will stay for next hundred years also. Oh, we are so blessed. And I see your grandfather also with playing with me. But right now there is no one in your family. Where are all these people? I, I don't know. I think I, I, I should I should connect with someone to know about my parents. Th thank you. I'll oh, thank you. You should, you should. Oh. Yeah. River Uncle, River Uncle, do you know where my parents are? Beta, this Mr. Plastic is here for so long, right? He has been very critical and very crucial in killing all of us. He is contaminating the earth, he is contaminating the rivers, he is contaminating all the water bodies. He is killing all of us very soon. He is going to end the earth very soon. He was the one who killed all your parents and contaminated all of us. The only one who can answer to all your questions is Mother Earth. Okay, Mother Earth Will will I will I live longer or will I also die like my parents? 
no 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 child you won't like die like your parents if if humans are not throwing plastic in in our home we we the plastic is harming me and in return it's harming you as well let's let's make a let's human have to make a pact that they will reduce the use of plastic and embrace biodegradable alternatives such as plant waste plastic or constats waste plastic or bamboo straw or wheat straw or sugar sugar cane or recycled paper containers maybe they can wrap some packages with uh, bubble wrap made from biodegradable plastics and together if they think and they come together then only we will be able to heal and preserve our home for generations to come thank you mother earth i think you made my day and i'll be very happy for the birthday thank you thanks everyone very nice very nicely done lot of happy expressions lot of uh, concern anxiety of uh, the days to come uh, very nice very nice well done thank you sir Thank you. Uh, team five, team five, you're here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now please begin. Please start. Sir, I am I am uh, gom uh, one of the activist environmental ex activist and approaching to the government. No, you you sir. need not you need not narrate. Uh, start. Uh, start. Okay, okay, sir. Sir, I have visited a number of times to you, but. there is no uh, response from your side i have already submitted to you in writing on behalf of my people that our due to this disturbance in the ocean plastic menace our people's health is also affecting and our earth is also struggling for its existing existence and our neighbor uh, in the world various uh, various countries are taking lot of uh, such so steps in this respect i want to know what are the your government policies regarding this over to shai prakash for government re representative yes thank you so i am the representative of the government of india so being like a activist public there are concerns raised so we the government of india we uh, like uh, like to announce our policies so we have a challenge by 2050 almost the ocean are contaminated with the plastics for that challenges we are planning to go for some uh, policies uh, rules acts and guidance so we have a short term goal and the long term goal and mid term goals by 2030 we have a goal and by 2040 we have a mid term goal and 2050 we have a long term goal for that uh, indian government has uh, declaring the policy and the uh, act and the uh, rules and regulations in the parliament in upcoming uh, meetings so uh, being a government we are encouraging the our scientists environmentalists and publics please uh, escalate and uh, submit your queries to the government bodies for that we are providing the facilities for uh, each uh, states and uh, uh, local government bodies so try to escalate and support government to follow these systems being india and for global warming we are uh, aligning with the uh, nations who are joint in uno so according to the uno guideline we are following to achieve our uh, targets so government is now in the uh, position to support all the uh, say ecosystems so uh, as a scientist please submit your proposals government is ready to support the scientist and the government is ready to support the publics what are the facilities you needed we will uh, release the rules and uh, we requested publics to dispose the plastic according to the government line guideline so plastic is actually a good innovation by the scientist but the usage of the plastic is not uh, as per the guidelines please follow the disposal rule and the purchasing the plastics don't buy the plastics uh, which is banned by the government this is the requirement from the government please try to follow thank you like right, that thank you thank you it is done thank you thank you very much thank you team 6 
Team six. Hi, Shivai. Hi, Gauri. How are you? Hey, Shivai. I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. So today uh, we are meeting after so long. So it's a pleasure meeting you. Same here, Shivai. I'm so delighted to have been invited at your place. For yes, lunch. yes, yes. So, so yeah. So uh, since you told me that you know you like um, you are a seafood lover, so today I thought to make you a uh, fish. So today I have prepared a fish for you. That's awesome, Shivai. I just love fish, so I can't wait to eat it. Sure, <laughs> sure. So, so uh, we will have uh, our lunch, uh, and then we'll we'll do the discussion and our chatting. Okay. So should I serve you now? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I'm just waiting for it, Shivai. Sure, sure. So here we go. Here is your fish. Oh, thank you so much, Shivai. It looks very delicious, and I'm super excited. Yeah, and tell me, yeah. Can I record something? Shivai. Yes. How's the taste? I think there is a bite of plastic in this. Oh God! <laughs> Can you oh, please give me some water? water? Yeah, please, sure, please, sure, please. sure, 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 sure. Topic. Please have this water. But are you all right? Oh, this this water this this looks so um, dirty. Uh, Shivai, could you get me another glass of water, please? Actually. It has lot of uh, dirt particles okay, in okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you some other water. But I have, I have got only this kind of water at home, Gauri. Oh, really? This water? This is uh, very dirty. Let me just push off, and you know, let me get a bislery in that case. Uh, sorry okay, for that. Okay, Please Gauri, I'm sorry. I have got no problem. No problem. Thank you so much for your understanding, Shivai. And I'll just yes. push off now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so sorry that I couldn't give you clean water. No problem, Shivai. I do understand, but for now I have to just go. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you, Gabi. So we would like to conclude that you know. Um, so every house, maybe in few years, will have the. fish with a lot of contamination even the water is not drinkable so that's what we can predict and uh, the message we would like to give it to everybody that it's our responsibility that we should take a small step to help our en environment keep clean and uh, by taking a small step maybe whenever we go to beach it's our responsibility to throw garbage in a you know respected dustbin so these are the small steps we can take thank so you this thank is you we have Thank, like you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, team seven. Yes, sir. I am the plastic. I will ruin this world. I am made by you and kill you. I am the plastic, and here I come. Akhil, unmute yourself. Akhil, I am a fish. I got ocean to live. I have lots of friend like shark, turtle. So we are uh, living our life. We are enjoying our life. We can go anywhere. So it's our world. We are enjoying it. Oh my God, what's coming in? Your days are over. Here I come, and I sit on your gill. how will you breathe my friends your days are over you cannot eat anything and water is your only home you are dead my friend you are dead i will extinct you and there will be no more colorful fish now here i come stop your friends people should avoid taking uh, plastics while shipping into the sea the shipping of the sale of food and uh, sh it should be done by recyclable and biodegradable products i am a cow i am i am very hungry today i can't see anything i have to find out to live oh my god yeah i i got a packet i got i can see a blue packet over there today i will surely have a good meal now i will enjoy it 
Yo, you oh. are my friend. Cow, now I will choke you to death. You will not be able to breathe and you keep moving in dustbins like this. I will kill you now. You see, you will, there will be no more cows to give milk and there will be no more babies to feed now. You wait and watch. Oh, you people are destroying the nature. Oh, no, don't throw plastics into the dustbins. Uh, the cow may swallow it and all the animal systems will get affected. Yeah, I I have got I have got four today. I have I have got a drink bottle. I have got a food tub. I'm enjoying my food, my meal. It's very yummy. Drink me from the bottle, my friend. You created me, and now I will destroy you. It is the end of your day. The moment I get heated in the sun, all my particles will go down your stomach. I will multiply your cells and this will be cancer. You will soon be dead, my friend, and you will extinct from this planet. No, no. Avoid plastics. Just have these steel containers. Only it can help you to overcome all the cancers. So we will remove all the plastics to uh, avoid the nature and the nature will be saved. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, very, friends. Very nice. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Well done. Well thank done. You. Thank you. Thank you. A steel glass as well. A steel glass. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Team 7. Team 8, you here? Sorry, sir. Team 8, you here? Thank you, Team 7. Thank you. Team 8 is here? Yes, we are here, sir. We are yes. here. Yeah, please do. Please start. We are left with uh, three, four minutes. Uh, I hope all of you are enjoying this. Sure, sir. Yes, sure. Sir. Yes, 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 that we all are facing the issue of climate change and global warming. So here with me, there are three people who are representative of these three fields. And one person, he's the leader of the agriculture field and he's the expert of it. And one person uh, is belongs from the migrant community. Those are people who are going outside. So he, he know what is the reason. And one person who's the representative of NGOs, what they are doing. Let's get to know what they are doing. So let's connect with the outsider first. We will start with the agriculture department. Like he is the farmer also. He do farming. Let's get to know what are the issues he is facing with environmental change. Yeah. Hello, Arthur. Hello, sir. Sir, yes, uh, it's uh, talking uh, about uh, farming things. Uh, what what to say? It's very difficult now. There is no much rain. Uh, we, the all farmers are very going to very difficult time. Because uh, we are investing a lot, lot of money to farm things, but uh, the environment and nature against us, and we can't do the farming long time, and our family members are get troubled things. So we are facing a lot of issues. Okay, what do you think? What are the reasons behind it, that issues you are facing? So the most, uh, I think, uh, now the people are living only for us, uh, not for the coming generation or coming uh, peoples because we are only thinking about us only we are living our life only we are not saving uh, the natural things for the coming generation we are living all you just look around all home a uh, lot of motor vehicles lot of cars for a, a very a very one person going outside he taking his car only so it's creating a lot of pollution there if you are using public transport or cycles by if nearby location, we just go to walk, we can control the pollution and things. It will affect the nature very, very drastically, actually. Also, it's affect the environmental change. Now, we in all the days, uh, two, uh, 20 years back, we can predict in which month the rain will come, in which time mm -hmm. the summer is come. But now, there is no order. It's uh, natural acting widely. It's because of our activity, I think. Okay, wow, Arshad, you have mentioned the causes. So what do you think what uh, people or what the government can do regarding it to improve the condition 
for that like uh, agriculture field can be improved sir first uh, give awareness to people what's going on you no know, all all i have uh, enjoying reels and things uh, living their life they need to look around to as well, or they need to travel the gra gra villages what happening there it's very difficult to live actually so the governments take initiative to understand what's going on and how we can recover uh, these issues so government need to take actions to address the people the farmers facing issues the water availability the temperature change all things otherwise uh, one or two, uh, so, sorry five or 10 years there is no such a good life all are will be payable for these activities i think right government okay. take quick yeah. action there is no no waiting for this. there is immediate action we need us ah yes thank you so much arshad as arshad has mentioned already these are the points that we can take some initiatives like uh, by uh, not using a vehicle for a small distance and less using of plastic and these are the thing action we can take okay now next person we have with us he is a person from migrant community like those are the people who go outside he conduct all the things to them so let's understand why people are leaving our country so let's welcome uh, mr hello sir okay yeah anamitra yeah so yeah. Uh, can you tell me the what are the issues people are facing so they are leaving the country so can you discuss something about it sure sir the first point uh, why we are leaving the country is because there are no jobs for the last we have had a drought for the last 4 or 5 years which has destroyed the livestock destroyed agriculture destroyed our occupations and jobs and uh, we are facing extreme poverty hunger and famine so we have no option other than other than to migrate and take a perilous journey across the mediterranean to uh, to europe for a, for the search of our uh, very existence many people are dying in the seas and we are facing terrible conditions to reach the reach the european soil but uh, we have no other option but to sustain ourselves something similar is happening in uh, central uh, central america where when people are migrating from central america to U us and all those places it's exactly the same thing temperatures have risen waters have uh, i mean sources of water rivers have dried up there is environmental degradation the land has degenerated we do not have agriculture what do we do we need the we need the global north to support us with funds jobs and other other facilities so that so that we can stay in our country we do not want to migrate but we but then that support has to be there okay okay wow good you have mentioned a very good points actually so what do you think what are the things uh, what actions we have taken in our path that bring that condition that we are facing now we are ready to leave our country that we don't want Shivaji, okay point number 1 running out time is running out please hurry up okay point point number 1 should be we should uh, reduce industrial emissions we should go in for sustainable energy we should go in for organic farming and regeneration of the land and and this has to this cannot be done by us alone but there has to be a global initiative so there has to be a fund global fund which has to be well okay. funded to right. uh, beat the climate change otherwise yeah. we from the global north will face the brunt of the action brunt of the climate change and environmental degradation in the days yeah. okay yeah thank you so much for sharing the solutions that we can take to change the situation okay let's get to know about the there are some ngos they are these are working wonderfully in our country to change this condition let's talk to them uh, what they are doing and uh, what actions they are taking to change the situation so yes sir can you tell me uh, what actions are you taking to change the situation that the people are Shiva, migrating shivraj shivraj ji just a minute just a minute yes, i'm sir. sorry to cut you i'm sorry to cut you uh, we have already crossed uh, 10 minutes uh, uh, beyond the given uh, timeline okay. we have already uh, we are late by 10 minutes it's 11:40 i guess you have another class at 12 you may okay. need break you may have you may want to have breakfast some break and all that uh, what we will do is we are left with three teams okay 8 9 10 11 4 4 8 9 10 11 uh, please remember your uh, teammates I hope you have taken down their names. You remember you had interaction with X member, Y member, Z member. Please remember their names. 
I'm so sorry. Uh, all of you were so engrossed. So I was unwilling to cut you. Uh, I uh, was unwilling to do that because that could uh, take away your motivation and that could discourage you. Uh, please hold until next week. You'll uh, be given another opportunity in the next class to enact your roles. Uh, please uh, don't take it the other way that the other go others got opportunity. We didn't get opportunity. Don't carry this mindset. Uh, but we have had an amazing session today. I hope all of you enjoy have enjoyed the session. Ah yes, sir. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Won't be able to get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Won't we be able to get feedback now? Like the people who have already uh, finished. I did direct. Uh, all the people have done really well. You have taken up roles really well. Uh, you have uh, understood the situation very well. Very well. It was informal, and yet the message was very, very emotional, sensitive. It uh, could create social revolution when you sensitize people. When you want, when you capture emotions of people, it can certainly be a very, very powerful uh, tool in the days to come. It's like a small seed, and every seed has a promise of a forest in it. So your role plays over like seeds. We uh, have to plant these seeds, and we have to generate a forest of uh, social revolution. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I'm so sorry. Three teams uh, could not get the opportunity, but your turn is awaited. You await for your turn in the next class. Be ready. Remember your teammates. We. I will give you the chance in the in my next class. Uh, the next class will only begin after you're done with your presentations. Thank you, everyone, for your uh, enactment, for your participation, for your uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, remarks. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the session. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three teams. Thank you all. Happy Holi, everyone. Shivaji. Holi, sir. Shivaji, sorry to Shivaji, sorry to cut you. Narain was the opening batsman. I hope Narain. I hope Narain ji, you did not take it uh, bad. You, you did not take it the other way. Uh, you are the opening batsman. Thank you, Shivaji. I uh, will give you the chance uh, in my next class. Eight, nine, okay. ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. Th thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.